Hello everybody and welcome to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. The same guys that made Dark Souls. So, yeah, I think it's basically the same game except ninjas and more modern day shit. Don't know if there's any like magic or weird ass bosses that are like monsters. Uh, how do I, uh, I gotta go all the way down. Oh, I'm so fast a reader. I just sped this whole part up, except Ooh. Uh. Wait, what? Oh. English, please. Thank you. Oh, that's text and voice. Got it. Sorry, I'm not Japanese. I'm American. Those are the only settings, huh? Well, it is Xbox, so I guess it's all preset. New game. Oh. Standard, standard. Uh, yeah, sure. Blood, subtitles, uh, brightness, sure, yeah, okay. I don't know if there's going to be a customization in this. I know that was a big thing with Dark Souls. But I don't know if, like, your main character... In the like, closing years uh, I'll of let the Sengoku stalk. era, Japan was consumed by a perpetual conflict. The fires of war raged on. <laughs> Spreading deep into the mountains, to the land of Ashima. <laughs> that guy's lucky day. That one guy was the last soldier. I'm guessing the big guys like that are the bosses. General Tamura is no more! Master swordsman Ishin Ashina staged a bloody coup and wrested control of the land. That's a sharp blade. What's the matter, Stray? Nothing left to lose? Well, would you look at that? Fascinating. Will you join me, Starving Wolf? On that day, a young cub was taken from the battlefield. That's a boy. He trained relentlessly, and indeed, went on to become a master shinobi. Listen, Wolf. You must never forget the Shinobi Code. As your father, my word is absolute. Your master's is a close second. As of today, he is your master. Defend him with your life. If he is taken, bring him back at any cost. So I think he's talking about the you king or prince. Me. Don't you? The one thing I learned from like trailer or description or wherever it was is like you're the defender of the prince or king, whoever it is, and he gets taken, so you gotta go find him. And also, I know I have like a robot arm or something that's like a grappling hook. Pretty cool. Don't know how I lose it or how it even works. Some 20 years after Ishin's coup, the Ashina clan was on the brink of collapse. And the shinobi, known as Wolf, had lost everything. Both the man who took him in, and the boy 
he had sworn to protect. Shinobi, open your eyes for the sake of your master. Is that me? I think that's me. Am I already missing my arm? Okay, thank you. No, I think I got both arms. Yeah, okay. Pick up items. A letter was thrown into a well. Kuro's Wolf. Your destiny awaits you at the Moonview Tower. Escape from the well and find the tower bathed in moonlight. I, even without a blade, you can reach it. Stay silent. Stay vigilant. Okay. You probably get through this whole game without a blade. That's how like these games are meant to be played, like, super challengingly. Oh my god, you can jump? That was something you couldn't do in Dark Souls. Ah, wall jump. Ashina Rivar. Rever Reservoir? I don't know. There's gonna be a lot of stuff I mispronounce. Whoop. Wall hug. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Whoop. The fence without being seen by crouching in the bushes or moving under floors. You do not have to... You do not have a sword at the moment. Use stealth to avoid enemies and head toward the Moonview Tower. If you are about to be seen, warning markers will appear above the enemy's heads. Got it. How do I... Shinobi at the bottom of the well. Okay. We didn't shackle him, restrain him, nothing. That doesn't worry anybody? Not at all. Not only is he unarmed, he has completely lost his will to live. Yes, I have. A coward. Unworthy of our concern. Ooh. The moonlight shines strongly on the Moonview Tower tonight. The Divine Heir is probably using the light for his reading again. Probably, but imprisoning a mere child. I feel sorry for the boy. Agreed. But I'm sure Lord Genichiro has his reasons. Okay, so I think that's the prince they're talking about? They captured him in the tower? When do I get to kill somebody? I want to do that. Stealth is fun and all, but killing's a lot more fun. Oh. The moon you tell it. It's certainly locked, but <laughs> nobody takes that. Am I supposed hole, to be standing here? That. Don't worry about it. There's a hole in the wall? Face is the edge of a cliff. No one could pass through it. Is there parkour in this game? Am I supposed to go around this way? Oh. Okay. I'm guessing yeah, this is parkour, so yeah, definitely parkour. And jump. So, I remember I played Dark Souls 3 on this. Nope, not going that way. Here we go. I remember I played... Is that the boy? Hold on, let me keep talking. I played Dark Souls 3. Never played all the way through it, at least on the channel. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be doing like the kill counter I did in this. Depends on how much I die. Hello. Oh, am I a silent character? You did well to come here. It's been too long, Wolf. I've come to free you. Oh, I'm not. My lord. 
Well then... Raise your head. Why do you have a sword? Your sword. My shinobi. In accordance with the bond of Lord and Retainer, you will pledge your life in my service. Thank you, my lord. As you command. I don't know how to try to pronounce that. A katana given by Kuro, the divine heir. Uh, an heirloom of the Hirata family? A cadet branch descended from the Ashina. Once thought lost, it has found its way back into the hands of the wolf. The name be beseeches a shinobi's role is to kill, but even a shinobi must not forget mercy. A matana, the blade itself, may manifest. Oh god, is that going to be like a karma thing? Kusaba, Kusambit, I don't know. Katana. Loyal wolf, I see you are wounded. Yes, heal me. I have something that may help. It is Thank a special you. gourd of medicinal waters. Use Ooh. it to heal your wounds. A gourd filled with a vitality restoring medicine. Resting reveals the gold. Gourd. Though it is strange that the gourd's medicine. Medicine. Medicinal waters refill automatically. The seeds within may hold the secret to how it works. My lord. Now then, were you gravely injured? A afterward? After what? Do you not remember that night? Apparently I not. Do not. Hmm. No. We'll talk about it later. Right now, we must escape Ashina Castle. As you say. There's a secret passage beneath the moat bridge that will take us out of the castle. Lord Ishin told me about it once. I ask you to find that secret passage. Once you find it, hmm, signal me with a reed whistle. You know, like you used to long ago. I'm gonna play you a song? As soon as I hear it. You could cycle through. Okay. Um. I have to equip them, right? Yep. And what is this? Uh, return to your home, so it's like the bone word home, homeward bone. What's infinite? Okay, uh, might as well use this now. How do I? No, oh, what am I doing? There's a secret passage been yep. this way. Okay, up there we go. So I got my sword now. I, I can't swing yet. Probably gotta fight someone first. <gasps> What's this? A pellet slowly restores vitality. Okay. Might as well equip that, just in case. Okay, that's not infinite. Or infinitely used. Um. Do I go back the way I came? Probably. Oh, maybe I go this way. Sure, we're right at the front door. Let's go, kid. Posture and death blows. A shinobi aims its break to an opponent's posture. Attacking an enemy is one way to achieve this. When an enemy's posture breaks, he is vulnerable to a shinobi death blow. Alright, attack. And after breaking posture, death blow. Got it. RB. Do you see me? Can I stealth him? Stealth? Hell yeah. Oh, this guy sees me. Ow. How do I block? Okay. Let's go, kid. They're all dead for now. So I'm guessing stealth, like, is a big play you can do. Deflection. Sometimes with uh, relentless attacks, it's not enough to bring in a new posture. Deflecting enemy attacks is another way to damage your posture. A master shinobi uses a combination of deflect and attacks to achieve the swift victory. So, I think it's like a parry thing? Yep. 
There's one thing I hated in Dark Souls that was parrying. But that was with a shield. At least now you can just do that. Um. Okay, lock on. Hello, boys. Also, is there like a stamina? Ooh, boy. Okay, come on. Come on. I don't know what that bar on the bottom is. That's like building up when I attack. Also, it'd be really nice if I can get some more health items. Oh, come on. Counter slash. Okay, so that's just the parrying. Got it. Death blow against strong enemies. Some powerful enemy opponents require multiple death blows. So that's what the two lights at the top mean. The number of death blows required to kill an enemy is shown by the red circular markers. Okay. Each death blow removes one marker. Got it. Oh, did I die? Yep. Alright, that's one. It'd be nice. Oh, I should have used the pellet. Damn it, that could have healed me. Alright, at least now I got full health and another medicine thing. You're gonna watch me kill your friend. Damn it. Oh, okay. So maybe that bar in the bottom. Like, that's my posture breaking. If I go through it too much. Oh. If I get hit too much. Alright, let me go this way this time. There's gotta be more healing things somewhere, right? Mm. Okay. Can I go in this house now? I thought I saw something glowing in there. When I was under here. Right? Nope, oh, that's a candle. Never mind. That will just bring me back the way I came. Can I even go that way? I could. Okay. Could you do like an aerial attack? Or is that too complex for me right now? Huzzah! I'm guessing parrying is going to be the way to go in this game. That or really long fight battles. Alright, come on. Round two. I got more health this time. What the? Get up. Oh, you can roll. Alright, that's one death blow. Let me heal. Boom! Okay. You got anything for me? A pellet? Alright, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to get the hang of like how combat works. Ash gripped into its hardened clump, thrown it, throw it, and throw it at an enemy, temporarily distract them. The snow falls thick, and the thus the heart hearth runs. What? Okay, I got some snow pellets. Huh. So you can either just keep damaging them, like until their health all goes all the way down. Or you can, like, break their posture. Got it. You know that secret passage at the bottom of the moat, under the bridge? We just got orders to guard it. Mmm. Security's getting tight. And disappearing. War will be upon us very soon. Okay. 
So it's gonna be more of a battle. Is that a bird? The fuck is that? What the fuck is this? Is that a goblin? Okay, yeah, I know how to use quick items. What the fuck is this thing? I thought it was just gonna be like regular people I have to fight. I also don't know if you can like run up right off the ledge, so I'm not gonna try and find out. Drop down. Oh. Another flask, please. Damn it, pellets. Uh how much do these heal me for? It says over time, but don't know how long it goes for. Eh, not that much, but at least something. What the hell is that like? Oh, oh! Is that an alligator? Okay then. Oh, there's more. I'll just run through them. It doesn't look like you get souls. So, I don't know how you level up in this game. Hug a wall. I'm, I'm fine, I'm standing on this. Am I going this way? Where am I going now? Probably that way. So, what happens if you double- can you double jump? Oh, it's like a kick. Did I really just... God damn it, I think I was supposed to go that way. Or nope, maybe I can't go this way. Well, where the hell am I supposed to go? Just a giant circle. Oh wait, did you say like there's a secret passage under the bridge? Is that the bridge? Has to be. Alright, maybe I should kill these things. Puzzah! That was awesome. Where's the other one? Weren't there two? Oh, come on, lock on. Yep. Okay. Secret passage. Secret passage. Secret passage anywhere? Hello? It's not gonna be a thing of like, I have to like hit a wall and it disappears. Is that gonna be it? Why am I hugging the wall? What's the point of this? Also, uh, it doesn't look like you can run off, so that's good to know. But where the fuck... Where is the secret passage? Wait, is that it over there? Ah, oh, boy. I can probably make that jump, right? Huh. Oh yeah, made it. You've just gotta believe in yourself. God damn it. Yes. The hell was that? Was that a leaf? How'd you get here, boy? Wolf, you found it. I did. Now let us leave this place. Yes, my lord. Cause like, what are those footsteps? But I think that's just the fire. To think that this is the only way to run from the faded bloodline is the only answer. Okay. Well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. This game's been good so far. I uh, can't wait to play more of it. So thank you all for watching. Be sure to drop it down below, leave a like, subscribe, share, and I will see you all in the next part. Goodbye.